Welcome back to another VFX tutorial and today we're gonna do something like this where you're getting hit and then boom we got a pretty sweet looking effect which is basically well, very stylistic and actually pretty easy to do in Game Maker Studio and the idea came from the game Infernax which came out this week, last week, something like this and uh, actually like the style of it and it's actually easy to copy so if you're up for the in quotations challenge well you know what to do stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing of course so the theory is kind of easy so basically we got our headless chicken dude we got our first face, for example, where we're getting hit and basically we're just drawing a dude, basically an animation. Of course, it is not animating. This is the kind of the first face, face, which is kind of an oomph thing. Basically, you're just getting hit it's like, OK, I messed up as a player. And then this is just for 20 steps. And then we go into phase two after the 20 steps. And then we are having a rectangle, which is just being spawned on the whole screen in the middle and then and then boom we are just uh, well increasing its alpha and then in between we got some splattering which is then happening uh, roughly uh, two seconds in and then three seconds in so basically 90 steps we're just saying like hey sweet we are entering phase three where we stop the splattering part and then we are animating the dude is collapsing and this is where it ends so this is the whole theory behind it kind of easy and it's basically a four second animation uh, with lots of little steps in between but we're gonna do that hopefully under 20 minutes alrighty so let's go into game maker I'm just gonna prepare a few things alrighty so basically for uh, understanding this I just have a nice little test instance objects in the room which is on the right mouse button just uh, while creating uh, our this death effect and in this instance normally I just use layer but I think depth is a better choice and why is that because let's say um, you got all these instances and of course they got a depth assigned to them so the highest one is at zero and so minus values will be always above everything else which is pretty good so here this is a nice and cheap and easy way to overlay everything because well the effect is on the highest layer and of course because this is depth once this whole thing is getting destroyed the layer is gone also so this is the uh, good thing about the depth system which is then of course uh, part of game maker studio so uh, one thing from the very beginning we got a nice little sprite so this is uh, animating um at the very beginning we are kind of saying like hey no animation therefore we will cap it to the first one and then later on we let it animate and then we are on the last index boom we say like hey don't animate so basically what i just did i took this dude and uh, the lazy way i just uh, well, painted him completely so this is the easy peasy way how you can well do this so the first thing which we need to understand is first of all we are drawing ourselves which is boom uh a sprite which we are assigning so basically this white sprite and then the second thing which we want to have is to draw a rectangle of course there are different ways how you can do this I thought like hey this is a pretty easy peasy way so I'm just drawing in the middle of the screen so middle center which is uh, in the camera so X and Y position here and then so hopefully nothing new for you and then um, we're just drawing a nice little sprite which is white white is then of course important because having a white sprite in you and you're then tinting it with a different color gets the color of course the the darker or the more the other colors if you're using then it doesn't look good so therefore a white color is the best choice and of course the center in the middle and then we're just going to stretch it everywhere so this is the whole thing so basically this is my my red background then as you can see the image or X and Y scale is quite huge and then we just color it red and that's pretty much it for our two things which we are drawing of course we need to get the middle position 
hopefully this is not new stuff for you basically we're just getting the camera values uh, x and y top left corner and then the width half and the height half and then we got our position even though for example the camera will be moving downwards to the player it's always in the center and therefore it's always in the right spot where it should be because this is a draw event of course if this is a little code or a little too much no worries all the code will be in the first comment which is mine of course then you can just copy paste it if you don't want to uh, <laughs> see the whole process go through so a few things which we need at the very beginning are well, getting player uh, coordinates why is that important first of all we need to know where the player has died first of all this is the headless chicken so this is our player we need, we need to get its x and y position so we can spawn on the same spot right which makes sense and of course if he's turning around then uh, we should turn around with the uh, well death animation sprite also therefore we need to take a few parameters from him so boom copy paste first of all we are getting the image x scale the same as the player because we are overlaying everything and then we're just grabbing the position of him so then the next thing is to block our animation which we don't want to we just say like hey image speed is zero and then we are not animating our sprite which wants to animate from the start and then later on we just say like hey once we are animating just as the fail safe we just say like hey so here animation ends this is where you can find it i do it a lot of times by the way animation end so basically we are just on the last sprite we just said okay stop animating once you animate it this is a later thing and then uh, not necessary but just stick it then to the last index which is um, in my place on my uh, example four alrighty so the first things which we are having is basically um, well our rectangle with an alpha value and that at the very beginning is zero so if we are for example we could start it then we would just see this sprite appearing not very interesting so therefore we're just gonna go into our phase one what do we do in phase one well we just say like hey uh, after we got our first hit because this is kind of crucial and you see that in a lot of uh, video games or splatter movies we're just getting hit and then there's a short realization phase and like uh, and then something is happening so basically this this short delay is making it uh, more impactful so basically how can we do that well kind of easy with an alarm which could be 20 steps or 30 steps this is of course then up to you and after we are um, that we jump into our phase two of course this is just for you so you can see what's actually happening there are no technically no phases and then we have two values which is once again our alpha and then if we are in our phase two so for example 20 steps alarm one then we just say like hey we have a variable which are called alpha increase and then we just say like sweet if uh, we can actually increase we do something so basically if then we do and blend in the red carpet the red screen the the canvas whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter and then we just increase our value of our alpha and then we can clamp it or we can do it like this this is basically the lazy way there are different ways how you can do this so if we are over one just set it to one and boom we are pretty much done and then once the thing is completely red then it won't be redder or bigger this is where it stands so for example let's check this out how it looks like boom so we are pressing the right mouse button and boom we are as you can see with a nice delay so here boom um phase and then after the 20 steps um, we are fading in nicely into a red green so this is basically what we wanted so let's go and in then into the next thing which is phase number three and then of course we are in between doing the the splattering but this is then the last part and then we just say like hey phase three start animating the sprite so we have alarm three so as you can see 
20 steps, first we just say like, hey, oomph, then after 20 steps, blending in the red screen, and then after three seconds, so as you can see, this is a very th quick thing, just bam, 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 one thing after another, and then we are creating a fluent thing, which is pleasant for the eye, it's looking neat, and it is not annoying to watch it a lot of times. So for example, here, this needs to be a very, very quick and short animation. Then we have, for example, then here, and then we just say like, hey, uh, image speed is set to one. So after three seconds, and then we just have our animation fail safe, and then just say like, hey, we're animating, but once we animate it once, we want it to be on our last index, and then we are lying flat and then we can do it five, but doesn't really matter. So this is then working good for us. So let's get rid of the alarms and animation end. And now the last thing which we need to have is spawning some blood. But I've, actually we can check out what it's doing now. So let's see, right mouse button, animation, boom. And this could already be finished if you liked. So if you just wanted to see, see how that looks like, well, that was it. But of course we want to go in between some splattering because that looks nicer. Here I will just copy paste it very very quickly because this is a lot of code. Ne not necessarily uh, well well difficult to understand, but I just go uh, just copy paste it and explain it what it does so you can see. It. So the last thing which we had here, we just do as you can see 60, which is then in between phase two and then it ends in phase three. Because we, when we are in phase three, we're starting to animate, so this could look kind of clunky, therefore we're just splattering a very, very quick while, and then once we, have, we are starting to animate, we just stop it. So therefore, we just have a nice little variable, which is then triggering our spawning of our splattering. So here, effects, so here, blood spawn and then this is getting triggered by our alarm 10 or whichever you like and then we just say like hey sweet trigger it on and then in our step event well we can do things first of all we need to have our fail safe so if we are starting to animate just say like this is over so we just say like hey stop spraying once we are animating so if our image index is I don't know bigger than one or bigger than zero it doesn't really matter and now we come to the spawning part, which is quite a lot. So let's go and input that. Copy paste, as you can see, wha, tons of stuff. Nothing too complicated, hopefully. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. So first of all, um, we uh, want to spawn a specific amount, which is between four and 10. We're just saying like, hey, let's go for a random range. What is this? Well, once again, we are creating uh, a thing, but now with a depth of minus 400. So this is not minus 200, uh, it's now 400. So this is even above our reddish thing on the screen. And then we're just creating, completely forget all that. What is just important, you have a one sprite, which is white, and all the other stuff is just for extra animation, nothing too fancy and nothing uh, interesting for this video and then we are creating giving uh, the thing well assigning it to a variable give it some random gravity give it a direction so pointing downwards giving it a specific speed so once again this is then up to you and then depending where we are of, uh, facing so basically if, if our image x scale is one great we just spawn to the right position between 15 and 70 so this is then arc to the right and then if we are facing to the left this is then an arc to the left and this is basically the whole spiel so let's check it out alrighty so here boom and then spawning quite a lot yeah I did that with a delay time of two to three steps so this is of course still this is still looking pretty neat but maybe a little bit too excessive but of course if you like it excessive I guess this is the way to go. Alrighty, hopefully you enjoyed this not too short tutorial for creating a pretty sweet effect which you saw in Infernex and we kind of more or less copied that style over here to Game Maker Studio. Yes, for the win. Alrighty, uh, see you in the next one.
have a good one. Wanna bin.